this one i love this this is another one okay guys i really neglected this is the c a silhouette designer series paper and look at how fabulous that is right okay so i'm going to show you i have kind of a sample of this paper let me make sure i said it right yep c a silhouette so this is another okay i've got like six by twelve pieces and actually this one is the one I used here, so I only have a little bit of this left, but this is beautiful paper. You guys, I love this. Okay, so this is the C a Silhouette Designer Series paper. So I maybe because I might've been a little afraid because it's so like bright and bold, I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. But now that I put this on this card, I'm like, now I know what to do with it. You could do this, this card idea with any of these Designer Series papers, right? It'd be really pretty with this one right here too and, and on a blue uh, card base, right? Okay, so there's one side, bright, bold, kind of crazy, right? Um, and this one's pretty cool too, right? And then the other side is more of a wash. Oh, I know they're beautiful, aren't they, right? So this one is ice cream. This one is Superman ice cream melted and swirled together <laughs> is what I think of that one. Of course, there are dimensional backings all over. So yeah, and then just really like some interesting like, and they're all a little different too, right? So you can't, um, you know, this part looks different than down here kind of a thing, but interesting paper here, right? But I love, I think I, I'm going to say I really do love this side better probably, but they could work well together, right? If you use this one with that one maybe or something. So anyway, beautiful paper. It's retiring. If you neglected it like I did, get a pack of it. It's probably on sale. And yes, the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Nikki? So, okay. This card I actually cased from a swap that I received from Terry Gaines. She's one of our million dollar sales ladies. So she definitely knows what she's doing, right? So this um, idea with, can you guys see? So she cut off an inch of the card base and then she actually embossed this. Can you see that has the subtle, maybe you can just kind of see it, the subtle embossing folder right there on the edge. So just see that cool texture on there. Probably can't see it very well. Anyway, promise, I, I promise you, it's beautiful, right? Okay, so let's make this one. Okay, ooh, and I'm gonna highlight too. So I used the Flourishing Phrases stamp set. This is a stamp set that is retiring. I loved that, just a note. I think it's perfect, right? Just a note, just send a note to somebody. Awesome sentiments in here, right? Like, thank you so very much. With warmth and caring from me, so he made you, this must go over with one of those, and then hello, and then some beautiful imagery, and then lots more awesome sentiments. Two um, packages here, right? We, they couldn't even fit all the stamps in one. It's an 18-piece stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp set. We also have with sympathy. Words can't express just how deeply your love and support has been appreciated. Marriage is a journey. I love you. I think it more often than I say it, but I just want to make sure you know it, right? Maybe a thank you. Congratulations. Praying that your heart will be lifted by the many loving thoughts that surround you today. These are beautiful sentiments, guys. I have not used these enough. Oh my goodness. The words, I think it's because when you flip through the catalog, the words don't catch you, but like when you actually read them, Wow, that one's awesome. Comfort and healing to you. Good thing you get to bring your best friend along. That's cute for the marriage. Uh, God wanted to brighten up the world. Oh, so awesome stamp set. If you don't have this one, I would highly recommend getting it. Great sentiments and great for, you know, insides of cards when maybe you're not quite sure what to say. And those sentiments really um, are a nice touch. Okay. All right, so let's do, we've got some stamping and die cutting to do here also. And I'm pretty sure I completely misspoke the other day. I thought that the rectangle stitched dies were retiring. Again, it's just the item code number. So these are still around. We are going to use, let me show you. Oops, my hand there. It won't go in all the way. Okay, so from the wider rectangles. We're gonna use the smallest and the second smallest of those are gonna be for that right there, okay? So again, not retiring. And I will indicate when I um, put all the details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, I'll put the word retiring next to anything that is retiring. For example, that flourishing phrases stamp set, okay? Need that little piece, okay. Let's put this and this. Let's do, 
Actually, let me tell you about measurements before I forget to do that. Okay, so this started out as a full sheet. Can we do it this way? Let's go this way because I think I'll be able to say it better. Okay, so this started as a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock, okay? Step one is to cut off at one, cut one inch off, so we're gonna cut it down to seven inches, okay? So it's gonna, I'm sorry, seven and a half. Cut one inch off of eight and a half, so down to seven and a half inches here by 11 inches. That's our card stock that we're starting with, okay? So then we cut it along um, the 11 inch side in half at five and a half, and we still do our score at four and a quarter, okay? But you end up with your card base, again, that measures seven and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Same score that I always make on an eight and a half inch at four and a quarter, okay? But we've just cut off an inch right here. So again, seven and a half instead of eight and a half for the card front, okay? Then we have our piece of designer series paper, the C a silhouette, beautiful, right? With that crazy wash on the back. This piece is three inches by five and a quarter inches, and that's just gonna go right on the front of the card right there, okay? I do have also a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's gonna go on the inside. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Everything else, these are just scraps to do our stamping and die cutting on. So let's do our stamping, and then that we're gonna have to do our embossing on too. Okay, so where are we going? Right here. Real red ink, and it says just a note. Okay, so we've got our nice easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. I love the little curly cue there. Ooh, <laughs> you have two orders coming today. That is awesome, Susan. Yes, you are gonna have so much fun this weekend, aren't you? Okay, oops, I got red ink. Make sure not to get that on my white cardstock. Okay, let's do our die cutting first since this is set up to do that, okay? So again, just a scrap of real red and then a scrap of whisper white with our rectangle dies. We've got the smallest and then the second smallest stitched rectangle. Okay, those look good. All right, here we go. Sorry about the wiggle, ladies. In a moment, we'll be through this, okay? Now, actually, I need the other platform. I'm gonna get this right on here so it's ready to go to do our embossing. Okay. All right, so I just popped those both out. We've got our little stitched rectangles. We've got both of those ready to go. And here's my, okay. I was like, where's my subtle embossing folder? And this is how we're gonna do this, right? Wow, talk about crafter math around here, ladies. Okay, so we just want to, and I just eyeballed it. So you figure, oops, you wanna have about an inch in here and you're just gonna kinda, and then you just wanna make sure it's straight, right? So it's not super crooked in there and that's all you're gonna do. And then you're just gonna lay this right down on here. And then I've got my one clear piece on top and then we are gonna do the embossing just kind of on the edge of our Whisper White cardstock, okay? And I was, oops, I got, I was kind of worried about that line on there, but it really isn't so bothersome. And one side maybe is even better than the other side. So yeah, I thought maybe it would make like a huge kind of crumpled mess, but it really doesn't. So just so you know that too, okay? All right, so simple card. We can go ahead and start putting things together now, okay? All right, so that's gonna go right inside there like that. So we're gonna add our adhesive, all right. All right, pop that one on. Okay, so that one goes there, and then we're gonna add our designer series paper. So you can see, you don't have to do anything super fancy. The um, designer series paper really kind of speaks for itself on this card, I think, right? But just kind of that fun little layout right there. Just a little something different. Another little, it's almost a fun fold, right? <laughs> if you wanna say that. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right on there and then just make sure you don't get adhesive too far over on this edge 
because you want to be able to lift your card up and open, right? So we're going to press firmly there. And then I had to, so I'm pretty sure, um, and you see a little bit more here, this is probably crushed curry, but our brand new bumblebee twill ribbon works perfectly on this card as well. So I had to tease you guys with this ribbon too. So we'll make a little bow with this and add this in the corner. And that's all we're going to do for this card because again, like I said, that See a silhouette designer series paper really does all of the work for us on this card. Okay, gonna did I get nope, I didn't quite get the glue dot there. There we go, just gonna put that right there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna trim that, trim that down just a little bit, and there we go. Just a no, oops, I'm always like way up here, aren't I? Where is the camera? I'm too busy looking at it myself, not where can you guys see it. Sorry. <laughs> so, okay. So those are our two cards for this week. Again, featuring the retiring, lots and lots of retiring designer series paper, right? Okay. So quick recap. I always love to do this at the end. So you guys make sure that you know, right? If you put your online order in of at least $30, you're going to get the make and takes or completed cards, whichever you like, both of these cards. Your name is going to go in the drawing next Friday to win the Bright's Designer Series paper pack, right? And if you bump your order up to over $50, you also get to choose from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a free package of pearls, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. It is Memorial Weekend. I just remembered that. We normally have something really fun called the Highland Festival here in Alma. It's kind of the kickoff to summer. Um, and there are lots of like Highland dancing and bagpipes and Sharon, if you're still on here, I know you're probably really lamenting the fact that we're not able to have the festival because her granddaughter is a Highland dancer. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's just kind of, it's kind of, um, a little bit sad that we're not able to have that this, this year. It's the first year, I don't know, in like a hundred years or something. We haven't, maybe 50, I don't know. It's been a lot of years. So Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just uh, yeah thinking about that and hoping you guys have a great weekend. Sharon's got a little shedding a tear there, I know, yeah. So we'll find something else fun to do for Memorial Weekend this weekend, right? So I hope you guys have a great Memorial Weekend, a great holiday long weekend, <laughs> right? Even though most of us are off from work anyway. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend and we will see you right back here next Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, okay? Bye everybody, thank you.